let's move on to a very important topic, SD components and global events. Here we have the panel gameplay panel, showing, for each round, the five songs for the user to select the one being played. Underneath, it shows the number of hits so far in the previous rounds, the number of misses, and also the time remaining for guessing the song of the current round. If we look at the panel layout, we will see that it includes a new control, component, that is like a web component with some minimal differences. The component concept involves, mainly, some sort of window in a panel, through which we may view another panel. In other words, this enables developers to design a panel that may be executed independently, with the possibility of embedding it in another panel as a component in it. We must keep the parent and child panels synchronized because when the user taps on the component, the panel that shows the five songs of the current round, the hit and miss counter will have to be updated. And also, when a new round is loaded, the timer must be reset. Likewise, when a round's time is up, that round must be deemed finalized and lost. To have a timer, we need a new type of control known as chronometer that should be on screen, even if we don't want to have it visible. Because we cannot use the visible property, with value 0 in this case, we will have to place it in a row with 0 dips. Note that the component control has been included in the toolbox. Once it's been dragged to the corresponding panel's layout, of course, it may also be the layout of a work with for smart devices, if we access its properties, we will find one called object that allows us to specify which object will be loaded there as component. In our case, we will load the panel for smart devices, panel game quiz, which loads the five songs of the current round. Our panel game quiz has no parameters, but if it did, it's in the parameters property of the component control where these are specified. These properties, as opposed to what happens in web, may only be specified here, that is, in the design. They may not be specified dynamically at runtime. On the other hand, even in web a component panel must be specified explicitly of this type, that is not the case for SD. Any panel for smart devices, or a work with for smart devices, may be executed as a component. In the case of a panel with one or more components, the order of execution of events is the same as in the details section of a work with that has one or more sections. The events associated with the container panel are executed first, and then the events in each embedded component are executed sequentially, one by one, in the same order in which they appear in the layout. How do we refresh all or a grid or component? We have the commands and methods we see here on screen. The refresh command, the form.refresh, grid.refresh, or component.refresh. What about the action bar? If we have the action bar of the parent and we have the action bar of the content of the child, the actions of each component are combined. The chronometer controls gives us the chance of executing an event after a period of time, or simply shows a chronometer on screen. All we need is to define a variable or a numeric attribute and change its control type to chronometer. It's valid both for web and for smart devices. Once we've done that, three properties are enabled. Tick interval, indicating in seconds the frequency at which the tick event will be triggered. Max value, the maximum value possible for the chronometer. Max value text, the text associated with the variable when the maximum value is reached. Also, three methods are enabled. Start starts the chronometer. It starts with a value in seconds contained in the attribute variable associated with the control. Stop stops the chronometer. And finally, reset takes the value of the chronometer to zero. Another very important thing is that the tick event is enabled to be executed every time that the value indicated in the tick interval property occurs. In our example, when a new round of the game starts, the timer must be started, that is, the chronometer must start at zero. And when it reaches 15, or 20, or whatever we have defined as the duration of each round of the game, it should stop, because the time is up for that round. Next, we will be seeing in which event we place the start of the chronometer. It'll be a global event that we shall define, 
and that will be known under the name of Start Timer. As seen in relation to the novel aspects for the web, GeneXus 15 now includes a special external object called Global Events, which, as opposed to most predefined external objects, is not included in the GeneXus module under References, but rather in the GeneXus folder. The reason for this is that it'll be subject to modification by the developer because it was created for that purpose. Nevertheless, we may save it with a different name and have an external object with a specific name such as, for example, game events for our application. Here, the developer may define events capable of communicating panels to, for example, synchronize different actions with one another. In our example, we defined four global events to synchronize the panel gameplay parent with its child, panel game quiz. One or some of the panels will trigger the event, which will be taken by the panel or panels that have it defined as event in their events section. These events may have parameters or not. In fact, the same panel may trigger an event and manage it. Object A and object B may be the same. So, from an event in a panel, another event in the same panel may be executed by invoking it. This is a simple use of the power of global events, but they may also be used in independent panels, not necessarily to synchronize components and the parent panel. To the right, we see an example, the component panel, panel game quiz, in a new stage global event that will be triggered from container panel gameplay, not shown here. When a new round of songs must start, increases the round number by one and triggers the timer's initialization. This is a global event that is managed by panel gameplay, which has a chronometer and shows the time remaining as from the tick event we saw before. These were some examples of use of global events combined with the components. To learn more about this topic, visit our wiki.